Our vice president has revealed to us. Sans are they talk to Nana. Nigeria don't go beg money again. They don't go borrow money again. What is the 30 million dollars? The people that put them in country where they hear this was so in there in there. Now, Shetima, they give us this. Say they have borrowed hundred and over 160 million dollars to invest in wheat production. To increase the capacity of our production of wheat in Nigeria. The projects are going to happen in Shikawa State and Kirby State. About 60,000 hectares of land is the proposed project. Now, Shetima and I use him to talk. So, let me say that we are here for corner. May I show you the news before the time is said that fake news. Nigerian government obtains $163 million loan from AFFB for wheat production. The Vice President Kashim Shetima has reassured, reassured that the federal government under the leadership of President Bola Tinubu will fulfill all its promises made to Nigerians. Mr. Shetima also said the federal government had obtained a $163 million loan from the African Development Bank to support wheat production. Mr. Shetima said this on Sunday in Agungu, Kebi State, while on a condolence visit to the family of late Abubakar Giru, a sheikh. The vice president who visited the family of the late Islamic scholar on behalf of President Tinubu said this is a great loss to the state, nation, and West Africa. I'm here on behalf of President Bola Tinubu who called me from India and directed that I should come to Agungu to commiserate with the family of the respected sheikh, government, and people of Kirby State and the North in general. Continuing, the VP noted that late sheikh Abu Bakagiro was a respected scholar who worked for God. He didn't bother about things of the world. He lived a humble life. May God forgive his shortcomings and grant him insanity. Speaking at the palace of the Emir of Agungu, Sumaila Mohammed, the Vice President reaffirmed the determination of the Tinubu administration to fulfill its promises, particularly in the agricultural sector, adding that food security will soon receive serious attention from government. According to him, we have obtained a $163 million loan from the African Development Bank to support wheat production. The scheme will be launched soon. We need 10,000 hectares of land in Kirby State, but the scheme will be well executed in Jigawa State with a cultivation of 50,000 hectares of land to boost wheat production. In his remarks, the Emir, Mr. Mohammed, stated that the Emirate was proud of the achievements of late Sheikh Giru. He prayed for the unity and progress of Nigeria and he also thanked President Tinubu and Vice President Shetima for their support. On his part, the national leader of the Izale sect, Balalao, who received the Vice President on behalf of the family in company of other national executives, thank Mrs. Tinubu and Shetima for their show of love. Beautiful idea. I love it. I love it. I so much love it. Increasing agriculture. Beautiful. 50,000 hectares of land in Jigawa on point. 10,000 hectares of land in Kirby State. Fantastic. If we can have more, better. But I have a question. As we are planning to increase the production of wheat as a country, which is very important for us as a nation, my question is, must we borrow money? Any project we want to do for the country, must we borrow money? They are using borrowing and swear for us. This one is the 30 million dollars they go borrow now from Africa Development Bank. If there is any one politician bring out to them win election, I sure say the people will get out to bring out. But every time we want to embark on the project, we keep borrowing. President Tinubu said here that it's unacceptable. Say we they use 90% of our revenue every year. To service debt. That is, if that they pay Nigeria 100,000 per year, Nigeria they use 90,000 to service debt. Now, 10,000 they are our own. So, people who they say that the 400,000 would they use as a matter of fact, would they borrow to the service? But when the president says something like that, you expect that it's going to limit borrowing. But he is still borrowing. Even the India. With a year for yes, a bull. Now, so why we go by bull, 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 as we complain, not to say the word every bull, the way we don't know. Now, all this word that they tell us that, that the word we know. 
Now the time of the one where we now know. We cannot continue like this now. Since they bought me calling life, I never ever hear one day. Say Nigeria bought one country money, the country called the pay us interest. Like, like, go, John. Now we go always a borrow for people, they borrow, they borrow, they borrow. We be baby Allah. So don't beg that with the beg money. We should plan our finances properly. There are people that can fund investments in Nigeria. Just let them run these things. Let people run these things. Just give people level playing ground to run business. And let's not be having this dollar fluctuation. We have money. I've been mostly winning. There's money in this country. They are buying new motor every day. Any latest motor where they release or applaud before we know that they're Nigeria, there's money. But when we want to do projects, we're going to benefit our country. We're going to borrow. And most times they say they're going to do infrastructure. We hardly see this infrastructure. I can assure you that in the next few years, we'll still be asking that we have 50,000 hectares of land. When they borrow money, say they want to increase wheat production. That Abuja Blue Rail, I'm going to be the name now. When we can say that complete, you know, this is what they're not borrowing that money. They're not still doing one. We cannot continue like this as a nation. It doesn't help us economically. These are the things crippling us. We should learn how to self-sustain and stop borrowing money. Thank you.